Turkey. Today we're gonna go out into the city, but first I'm going to buy tickets from Azerbaijan to Estonia. <gasps> Did you just give away some secrets? Okay, so Ashley is finishing up buying these tickets and then we gotta go out and get some brunch because I am getting hangry. We are hungry, it's noon now. We have pretty much just been relaxing all morning, but there's a whole city to see out there. So I'm gonna take my maps and some of these handy dandy little things that our Airbnb have available for us and we're gonna check out the city. All right, let's do it. I'm excited. You coming? Yeah, I'm finishing buying tickets. <laughs> All right, we came to this place for some breakfast. We read online that it's actually pretty good, so we got fingers crossed. this place for Kavalfilar, which I'm probably saying wrong, but means breakfast. And with the help of Google Translate, we figured out that Guzleme, or Turkish toast, sounds like a savory crepe. So we're gonna, gonna give that a shot. Guzleme, for breakfast. Whoa. Thank you. I got mushrooms and cheese, which is what the waitress said was delicious, and then Josh got spinach and cheese. And it looks so good. We probably should have gotten one for both of us. No, I'm hungry. Okay. I'm gonna eat the whole thing easy. Afiye, <laughs> awesome. Full breakfast. It's time to get some water and take a walk by the beach. Yo. Super good on my face, but they're not bad. They look just like the ones that I had. By the way, the restaurant that we were just at, really good. A little on the pricey side, yeah. really good. Ashley got a water that was 75 milliliters for how much? Uh, four lira. So that little a over a dollar. dollar. And I just got this at a uh, shop for, you guess how much? One and a half. Ooh, it was only two. Icky. And she's distracted. She's looking for sunglasses. I think these are exactly what I was looking for. How much are they? I don't know. Okay, because <laughs> that'll determine whether they're exactly what you're looking for or not. <laughs> Exactly what I'm looking for. Now let's go walk by the water. <laughs> We've come now to the Bay of Izmir. Yes, the Bay. If you look at a map, you might think that Izmir is on the Aegean Sea, and it is kind of, but it's actually a bay from the Aegean Sea called the Bay of Izmir. This is important because Izmir is Turkey's second largest shipping port. It's actually Turkey's third largest city, third to Ankara and Istanbul, which is huge. This place has about 3.5 million people in it, and we're gonna go show you the tiniest section of it in only one little video today. So get ready for giant bird's eye view of Izmir. There are bikes for hire, and it doesn't look like it's too bad, but as with many things in Turkey, it appears that you need a Turkish mobile number or at least some sort of world GSM SIM thing where you can get messages all around the world. You have to verify your number for everything in Turkey, yeah. for free Wi-Fi, for renting bikes, for everything. Yeah, when you don't have a Turkish number, it makes everything really difficult. Although yeah. people are really nice. Sometimes like if you need Wi-Fi, they'll let you use their phone like, yeah. to, for it to text the code. But also our credit card, the, this credit card machine isn't working and a lot of the Turkish credit card machines don't work with our card because we are not a part of a Turkish bank. Right, so, so yeah, it's a little, little hard to work with stuff in Turkey, yeah. but it's not too bad. Just bring cash everywhere you go and don't try to rent things from kiosks. Yeah, man, that would have been fun though. I yeah. was hoping to get a bike. Would have been cool. Although it can get below freezing here in the winter, it rarely ever snows, maybe once every two decades, basically. But the Melpem right now, or the sea breeze as the locals call it, is so nice because it is scorching. It's like over 100 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It's nuts, but uh, we're walking down the waterfront. It's nice, there's lots of restaurants, lots of hotels, and we're hoping to come across uh, Karnak, Something, something square. Ooh, I'll show you. In a Holy smokes! I don't know if you can see it, but there's so probably a million actual jellyfish right here. They go all the way down there and everything. 
Why? There must be a lot of stuff they eat right here. Or the ocean just pushed them here and they're stuck and they're dying. That's no one. <laughs> there were so many over there, but not this many. This is crazy. I, I, I just got a new hat. Yo. We are in Konak Square now, which is the main square of Izmir. This is the clock tower here. It's actually one of the oldest historical buildings still in existence in Izmir. It was built in 1901, so just over a century old. And the reason that is, is because after World War I, this area was actually handed over to Greece. And then shortly after, in the 1920s, uh, the Turkish Empire at that time basically tried to retake it back, and they did. However, the whole place was burnt really badly, and so much of the uh, historical significance of the town was lost during that time. So pretty much everything you see here is gonna be less than a century old. From the clock tower, we come to Camarote, or something like that, uh, shopping area where there are a ton of stores to go shopping at. Josh is rushing me through this area because he knows I can't fit anything else in my bag. <laughs> so let's take a quick look. Yeah, there are so many places you can shop in here. It's a large area. Um, smallest Well, let's see. Oh. <laughs> this cool oh, Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right, she's doing it right now. She's got her ice cream, her dandruma, and we're, we're walking down the, uh, the shopping street. <laughs> Hopefully her hands are busy so she can't pick anything up off the, the shelves. Never. It was so hot outside, we walked past Brothers Coffee and I was like, hey, that's one of the better coffee places that people have told us to come. Here we are. And it's good. Delicious. White chocolate mocha ice. Back into the heat, but we're headed to the apartment. We're gonna crank that AC. Oh, and welcome back to the Airbnb, you guys. Ashley and I are getting work done, right? Yep, I'm editing our video. Just so you guys know, we are up to date with our videos. So the Very videos that you are getting are actually the day after. Pre yeah, pretty much. Yes. This video that you're seeing now is going to be two days from when it happened, which is pretty yeah. dang up to date for a vlog, I feel like. Yeah, it's really nice, actually. We love having yeah. up to date vlogs. Okay, Ashley, on a scale of one to 10, how is Izmir in terms of cities in Turkey? Um, I like that it's small. It's um, a lot of small. People... It's the third largest in Turkey. Well, it feels small for being. I mean, after going to Istanbul and coming here, yeah. it feels small. Fair Istanbul enough. is gigantic, and I still like Istanbul more. I really. There's something about large cities that become overwhelming for me. I yeah. don't know what it is, but like London and Paris felt that way. But for some reason, Istanbul does not feel that way to me. I was thinking about it. I feel like because Istanbul has like hills and like hidden alleyways and like we, like it's got water coming in and out of it. It's just like a you have to explore Istanbul. I feel like Izmir is there for the taking. You can just walk in there and be like, aha, Izmir. We have heard no bad things about Izmir. No, not at all. So many people have amazing things to say about it. Plus. The people here are supposed to be even friendlier than Istanbul, and I can't imagine that. No. So I'm really excited. Tomorrow we have a meetup set up. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to meeting some of you guys. I cannot wait to share the video and see who shows up. Yeah, that'll be really fun. But today was freaking hot. It was, and I'm hoping tomorrow will be cooler. I think that was our <laughs> biggest deterrent for exploring yeah. and enjoying Izmir. We were dying. Like, yeah. if we if we hadn't gone inside to the AC and drank tons of water, which we did, we, we would have actually died, I think. I, I, I really... forget what hot weather feels like. <laughs> and it was pretty miserable it was to pretty walk along the water at the hottest part of the day. We were like, ah, this will be so relaxing. We'll see the water. Uh, and we're like, yeah, just was... baking ourselves. All right, so anyways, WayFam, I hope we encourage you to get out there and travel today. We are enjoying Izmir, and tomorrow we're gonna meet up with you Izmirolites. Izmirians. Okay, bye. Gale gale!